Frankfurt. We just arrived here by train. Tomorrow we'll be doing an early ferry flight from Mannheim in Germany to Middelzeeland in the Netherlands with a Cessna 206. But first we need to explore the city, so uh, we're on our way! and it's almost 12 o'clock. Before heading off to bed, I want to make sure that I have everything prepared for the flight tomorrow morning. I have the maps, Sky Demon on the iPad. We're just making sure that the last few things are planned. I double checked the NOTAMs for the airports that we're flying to. So from Mannheim in Germany to Echo Hotel Mike Zulu Middelzeeland in the Netherlands, we'll be flying through Germany northwest towards the Netherlands, skipping Belgium as a whole. I checked the NOTAMs for the diversion airports as well. Tomorrow morning we'll be checking if the plane is refueled and then I'll be filing the flight plan as well as checking the weight and balance. What else do we have? Yes, most importantly the weather. I checked the weather just now and it's looking quite good for tomorrow. Maybe the weather will be changing tomorrow morning and then we have to make some adjustments to the flight plan. And for the rest, I think we're gonna head off to bed because it's an early start tomorrow. Good morning, it's almost 8 o'clock. We just had our breakfast and in a minute I'll just show you the routing that we finalized. We're planning on flying overhead Frankfurt and I'm very excited to see the airport and see the city and then fly northwestwards towards the Netherlands. We'll be departing Mannheim Airport at approximately 9 o'clock UTC and climbing out northwards into the Frankfurt CTR overhead the field. I'm gonna give them a call while we're in the train just to make sure what the routing procedures are for VFR traffic from the south to the northwest. Then we'll continue all the way to the Echo Delta Delta Kilo Cone Airport, fly overhead through the CTR once again, then westwards. As you can see, it's quite a bit of hectic airspace, but as long as you keep very good radio contact, it should be perfectly fine. Then near Roermond, we'll be crossing into Dutch airspace. Got a little low flying area over there. No fun for today, we're just gonna continue straight on to the Eindhoven CTR. What I like to do, as I said before, before crossing the CTRs, I always give them a call in the morning just to make sure that they know that we're coming, as stated also in the flight plan, but at least that we also know we're 100% right on the VFR procedure. Then past Eindhoven, we have the CTR over here. We'll fly straight along to Breda exit the CTR, then we are continuing lastly past Woensdrecht and then we have the final stretch west towards Middelzeeland Airport. This is a very beautiful area to fly, I know it quite well from a bit of skydiving flying that I did last summer. And then approach the little grass field and there we will park the aircraft and leave it for the next few weeks. <laughs> Suitcase is packed. We are ready to go. I just contacted Frankfurt Airport and they advised me to call upon arrival to cross the CTR since it is quite busy at the airport and they can't guarantee the crossing. So we'll see how that goes. Then we'll just have to cross west past the CTR. For the rest, I also called Eindhoven Airport and they said the crossing should be perfectly fine at a lower altitude, which will be great for us. And the weather in the Netherlands is basically perfect. So that's good. Um, once we arrive at the airport, I will file the flight plan and just contact the, uh, the tower quickly and ask them for any additional information. Then it should be all done. What I'm doing now is writing down all the frequencies that we'll be using along the way. So we're starting with Mannheim Tower, I've got lung and information, then we'll need them for each airspace that we'll be crossing. And what's also important to do is write down a few frequencies on your piece of paper or have it near you for the diversion airfields, just to make sure that if you get into a situation needing to divert, that you have all the information required in one place. <laughs> Reunited 
with my little baby at Mannheim Airport. It's quite busy here. Some helicopters. She's looking like a beaut. Oh uh, yeah, new interior. Well, they only didn't do the instrument panel, which still looks a little shady, but the interior has been done. <sighs> she looks good. Oh, long time no see. Hey, <laughs> look what I found in the back of the plane. I found this piece of paper that last summer I wrote on when I hit my 500 hours and it's still in this plane. <laughs> All right, it's super important to have all your paperwork and make sure that it's all up to date. Also have a look in the aircraft logbook, see when it's last flown, if it still has enough hours to fly. As you can see, the plane has been parked outside, so it's really important to drain the fuel tanks and later on under the engine just to make sure that there's no water or sediment in the tanks. Um, you don't want to fly with that. As you can see, I have gas blue. We have no sediment and no water. That's good. I like to drain it twice if I haven't flown on it for a few days and I haven't flown on this plane for quite some months. So let's see. Yes, no sediment, no water. Let's check the other side. First tip that I'll be sharing for ferry flying, bring your own drain cup. I forgot, so I'm learning from my mistake. There wasn't one in the aircraft, so we borrowed one from a kind man that was doing his own pre-flight, but I know that for all my other ferry flights, I'll always bring my own, because you never know if you don't have one, and it's really crucial to drain your tanks. Usually we have some ladder for this, but today we need to refuel. I have about 20 liters in here. As you can see, we have just under 12 quarts. It's a long flight, so uh, it's good that we have enough oil. We'll be fueling at least 200 more liters, by the way. I always like to do a very thorough pre-flight, but when you haven't flown the plane in a long time and it's been standing outside, it's very essential to double check everything. All I'm gonna do next is file the flight plan, then we're gonna refuel, I'm gonna fill her up so we have about four and a half hours endurance. That's more than enough for today and uh, it's gonna be a good flight. Check, our flight plan has been approved so we can refuel and be ready to go. Are locked, right tank selected. We got 120 liters in each tank. And put the mixture rich. Prop is full forward, setting this to one centimeter. What I'm going to do is put this one in. We can like put something on. Battery on. Auxiliary. Turn this one off. One centimeter. Ready? Ready. Clear prop. Juliet Bravo Yankee, radio check. Papa Bravo Yankee, radio 5. Radio 5 as well, taxiing holding point Alpha, runway 27 for a flight as per flight plan to Echo Hotel Mike Zulu. 2 POB and uh, 4 hours endurance. Papa Bravo Yankee, Roger, hold position, I call you shortly for taxi. Papa Bravo Yankee, behind the incoming test on Alpha, taxi holding point 27 via Alpha. Roger, holding point 27 uh, via Alpha, Bravo Yankee. 
Der Labado behind the traffic on final, line up 27 behind. Der Labado behind the traffic, short final 27, lining up 27 behind. Papa, Bravo Yankee, taxi into Foxtrot, please. Taxi to Foxtrot, Juliet, Bravo Bravo 
Cathedral, if you like, you might do some circles over the cathedral before continuing to risky ones. Roger, unfortunately this is a ferry flight and uh, no fun flight, so uh, I request direct whiskey one, Julia Bravi Yankee. Okay, then I hope the low pass was no fun. It was definitely no fun at all. Just plain hard work. Exactly that. Bravo Yankee. Papa Hotel Juliet Bravo Yankee, Eindhoven, goedemiddag. Juliet Bravo Yankee, just north of the Oppel, request to cross your CCR from the east, on route to Echo Hotel Mike Zulu, 1500 feet. Papa Bravo Yankee, how many persons on board? Two QB and the request to direct over at Tower if you can accommodate. Juliet Bravo Yankee. Juliet Bravo Yankee, that will be approved. Take point entering CTR QNH is 1034. Entering approved, QNH 1034, Juliet Bravo Yankee. Julia Bravo Yankee over at the field, 1,500 feet, request direct whiskey. Papa Bravo Yankee approves report leaving at whiskey. Report leaving at whiskey, Papa Del Julia Bravo Yankee. Papa Del Julia Bravo Yankee. Papa Del Julia Bravo Yankee, go ahead. Julia Bravo Yankee is just north of Houston. Uh, request across the CCR from east to west for a direct to Echo Hotel. Mike Zulu, 1,500 feet. Hotel Julia Bravo Yankee, crossing over the CCR is 1,500 feet. Is approved on the QA 1034. Request for the work. We've got two QB, QNH 1034, and uh, crossing approved 1,500 feet. Julia Bravo Yankee. Coast 4, ready for departure, left hand circuit 402. Coast 4, ready for departure, left hand. Coast 4, ready for departure, left hand, Coast 4. Papa Hotel, Julia Bravo Yankee, request direct Breda. Bravo Yankee, direct Breda approved, report leaving the CTR. Report leaving the CTR next, Papa Hotel, Julia Bravo Yankee. Julia Bravo Yankee, Bravo Yankee, Breda, request frequency change 132, decimal 350. Bravo Yankee, welcome to Bravo Yankee, welcome back to QNH 1034. Juliet Bravo Yankee is approaching the Zealand, request for change 119255. Juliet Bravo Yankee, the switch is approved for change. Roger, switch approved, sign the off, mid the Zealand radio, and hey, the good minute, pop down Juliet Bravo Yankee. Pop Bravo Yankee, Minnesota, Zealand, hele goede dag, go ahead. Pop down Juliet Bravo Yankee, approaching from the northeast, request joining and landing information. Bravo Yankee, Roger, Roro, on way 27, right hand circuit. 27, right hand circuit, Roger, pop so. Juliet Bravo Yankee, turning final runway 27. Bravo Yankee, Roger, the wind 3000, six knots. filling in the logbooks and then we're done for today and there you have it safely back in the Netherlands after two hours and 40 minutes of flying it was absolutely amazing and I really hope to do more of these ferry flights in the near future it's a lot of fun if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you soon bye